and welcome to a, uh, another episode of Imminent Collections. And this time, it's morphing time. Well, oh, for, for part of it, um, as you'll see, actually, like, m you know, maybe 50% of the stuff is related to morphing time. But I thought I'd start it off with uh, this little Power Rangers. Uh, well, it's a morpher, but it's also a playset, as you can see inside there. I'm also joined with Glyn. Hi. Uh, who is also uh, maybe not an expert on on Power Rangers, but you know quite knowledgeable and stuff, and quite handy for this video because I'll be honest, a lot of the stuff we'll be going through, uh, I bought you know as a small children, Mighty Morphin and like Zeo and stuff were big, so it was like nine or ten at the time, uh, and honestly I can't remember too much. So, we're just going to fly through some of my old toys, basically, because there's a movie coming out, and I'm going to cash in on that and get as many views as I can. Will we reach 20 views? No. It would be ever so slightly awkward if you're saying that, cashing in on it, but the movie turns out to be absolutely horrible. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It, it plays off nostalgia, and that's kind of what my channel is as well. Uh, so, we'll put that to the back there. And so we're just going to go through, in no particular order, some figures. These are generally from the range of Mighty Morphin, the Power Rangers movie, a bit of Turbo and a bit of Zeo, and I think that's where I fell off. Um, I barely watched Zeo even. But let's start and yet, and yet in... I did, but I for some reason don't remember much of it. <laughs> let's start it in style with some... What I want to call standard figures. These are kind of... They've got, to be fair, they've got quite nice articulation. They've got head articulation, shoulder, they don't have hand, obviously, but they've got knee. Uh, which does mean they can't, because they don't have much foot articulation, they can't really stand in very good poses. But, you know, if, you, if you're if you a fan of the um, standard T-pose that game designers really like, <laughs> there we are, you're sorted. They can all do that. Um, right, so, we have, what was his name, Glenn? We have, oh yeah, okay, right, so this is Tommy from Mighty Morphin, uh, as we can tell by his symbol and outfit. I just had this image in my head of, like, he's doing the T-pulls, he's like, Dragon Sword! <laughs> <laughs> and this is Billy! Billy, yeah. Billy, okay, there we are. I really liked Billy uh, as a kid, also, I'm gonna, there we are. That's a bit better. Um, I quite like their helmet designs as well, because they're all dinosaur-y kind of stuff. Um... And yeah, um, so there's not much to say about these, if I'm honest. This is more of just a kind of show and tell. But, you know, these are pretty decent figures. And I also have the kid from Power Rangers Turbo. Yeah, Justin. Justin, there we are. The one that everyone kind of hated. Guys, because I'm the new Blue Ranger. Yeah, he, <laughs> because all of the other Power Rangers were, you know, adults and stuff. And then some more small kid joined them. But when they all turned into suits, because obviously they used footage from... Uh, you know the, the Sentai. yeah the the Sentai series in Japan. All of a sudden, he grew about three feet and was as tall as the adults. Uh, so now, though, as you'll see through this video, I had a thing for the Blue Ranger. I just really like the color blue, I guess. Um, and you know his his outfit's pretty cool. I like it. Turbo ones were a little plain. I did think sort of. The, the the face bits are pretty cool, but like the rest of it... I thought the, I thought the morphing thing was pretty damn cool, though. Yeah, there the, the were bits of turbos that I quite liked, but admittedly, because I relied on normal TV channels, I didn't have Sky or anything, it did mean I only ever watched Power Rangers when they fancied putting the episodes on. Yeah. And if they wanted to put them in order, which they never really did, so... I, I, had, I had Fox Kids. Ah. And Jetix. Well... So. Put these guys to the back there. We don't really need them there, but whatever. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> whatever, Billy. Just <laughs> fall Billy's over. gone mad night out. <laughs> um, right, so next, and these may be nostalgic for some of you, is the movie Power Ranger uh, ones. So, um, these are the movie ones, aren't they? I'm, I'm going to guess so because it's got the ninja yeah. related ones. Yeah. So, either the movie or as some people just go season three. I suppose. Um, uh, obviously, for those of you who haven't seen it, uh, the, you know these are kind of the suits that debuted in the Power Rangers movie, the very first one, um, and they're really, really shiny. I don't think it's doing quite much justice on camera here, but in person, these are. Because I, I'm looking at them now, 
and I can't tell if it actually is based off the movie because in the movie the suits are a bit more armoured. I don't know if yeah. they're the toys of it. But then I also remember, you know, notice how they're all chromey and stuff. Yeah. They used to have, I think, towards the end of Mighty Morphin, I remember it vaguely. They'd have like a, a shiny mode, I guess. Oh, I see. Okay, like, so like a little bit stronger. But right. Like, I think it, I think they called it metallic, but it didn't look metallic at all. It just looked a bit more shiny. It looked a yeah. bit more like that. So I'm like, I'm looking at, I'm going. Is it supposed to be them, so, or is that supposed to be the movie? I'm not sure. I'm not sure again how much is showing up on camera, but these are like really, really shiny and chrome. Uh, for those Mad Max fans out there, get it? It's a reference. Um, but no. Also, see these have a <laughs> fucking hell. These have an extra little feature. So you see their belt there. You press it. Oh, hang on. Wait, it's the wrong way, isn't it? Right. <laughs> I haven't even set these up properly. There we are. So this is. I won't say Tanya, but it's not. It's Kimberly. Kimberly, there we are. And you press that. Hey! And as with the other two as well. So, wow, okay, that, that and took a second. Not, he's not drunk, can do it too. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look. There we are. See? He's <laughs> hey, look at me. Now, <laughs> also, so from a later series, uh, Power Rangers Zero, Zero, yeah. I believe, Zero. Uh, I also have... This guy, I don't, honestly, I don't remember anything about Zio, but um, they've changed the transformation thing a bit, so it's at the back now. It makes more sense. Cause and go, yeah. it does it all of the time, as in, you because with these ones, you've got to kind of hold their chest open, flip their head round, and then do it. But this, it does it both ways, which is really nice, and I don't know, I don't remember this being a thing, but obviously it was. I think I have him. He looks familiar. Yeah, he's really cool. I, I like the whole gold and black kind of, you know, colour thing. I just, I just... Oh, he looks... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> they're, re they're really unsteady on their feet. And it's there. like I always looked at him and went, yeah, sure, they call him the Gold Ranger, but, like, a good chunk of him is black, not gold. Yeah, so it I is. So I was like... It would make as m I remember when I was young, I was thinking it would make as much sense calling in the Gold Ranger as it would calling in the Black Ranger. Okay, so <laughs> next up. I wish it's weird. <laughs> next up, we've got. Are these Zio? Yeah, they're all Zio. Okay. So next up, we have some strange, strange looking. Can't just fuck. <laughs> yeah, like these guys. Well, in, you know, there's the meme of skipping leg day. These guys have. <laughs> these are guys have skipped everything but chest day. Because, you know, I, I don't want to pass judgment, but these guys look like they have boobs. Like, they're just in Like, th that's that's not a normal proportion. But anyway, so I've got three of them. They're not all fitting on camera. So, the whole thing about these um, is, you pull their front off, they then turn into this, and then you kind of push... So they all change depending on which ones. And they all have backpacks that I've lost over the years. But this guy used to have wings. Uh, and so the whole kind of point was he'd turn into a falcon thing. The wings were pretty cool. Like, you know, when it all actually worked. I quite liked them as a kid. Use your imagination. Imagine there are wings there and you have a wing. Yeah, so <laughs> I don't remember. Like, were, were these, you know, was the Red Ranger like the Falcon Ranger? Yeah, okay. yeah these are based off their Zords, I believe. Right, okay, right. Because I don't know why I bought these. Um... Is so probably you saw it as Power Rangers. So you're yeah, like, you know what? <laughs> yeah, basically, I was a bit of a sucker for like transforming things, uh, robots, things like that as a kid. I so was just, I was just at that age where I'd be happy whatever it is you got me, so long as it was Power Rangers latest. Yeah, I uh, I know that feeling. So uh, a bit like now, where it's if it's Doctor Who related, I'll be cool with it. <laughs> so with this guy, he's a kind of lion. I don't even know if I want to go to the trouble of transforming all these but as you can see like his um when it stays in like he's got a little foot thing there and he's like a lion but they're kind of cool he doesn't have the backpack either and then the third one i think his is my favorite he's a, a bison thing isn't it? Bull, bull bison thing I yeah all, i feel bad <laughs> Uh, I don't get why I don't remember Zio that much. It was a good series, from what I remember of it. I um, 
as I said, I, I literally was at the uh, mercy of what the TV channels felt like putting on. I don't, I, think, I don't think they ever showed Zio, did they? I felt like I watched an episode or two of Zio, but I think maybe they just like moved the block or whatever and just didn't bother. There we are, and he's a bull, and he's also got a little tail, um, which is lovely. There we are, see? He looks the most complete of all of them. Yeah, and I'm not going to lie, these look derpy as fuck. Um, <laughs> with a, Maybe with the backpack on, they look a bit better. Hey, it's Power Rangers, they would have sold back Yeah. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. These um, these look like perverse um, experiments that are just waiting to die. <laughs> uh, right. Kill me. <laughs> oh, okay. We've also got... So, fr this is from the Power Rangers movie. That's, yeah, that's um, from the movie. <clears throat> they all kind of went to the planet and got ninja forms or whatever. It's also in the series, but they get it in a completely different way. But whenever most people look at it, they tend to just think of the movie. Yeah. Um, That's what I do. So. so this guy used to have a little disc that he'd put in his hand, and then he'd, like, throw it like a ninja star or whatever. It's a pretty low-quality disc. I think it's, like, cardboard or something. But I quite like this figure. Um, I did want to get the Black Ranger, because he was the frog, and I really like frogs. I'm a frog. Um, His reaction to it, I'll always remember. But this is Billy. Billy was I. I quite liked Billy. Um, you know, he was a he was a cool guy, I guess. He was the tech guy. <laughs> yeah, I. I think I always just like identified with him, being like, oh yeah. He was the awkward tech guy. So there's also this is from Zeo yes, as that's well. In space, oh, in space. Okay, so this is the <laughs> fucking hell. Okay. <laughs> They're all drunk. Well, this is the Blue Ranger from In Space. As you can see, he's got some nifty little things you can detach from him. I think, as far as we can tell, this was a figure-exclusive thing, where he also had something you put in the back there that kind of gave him extra arms, kind of like Doc Ock kind of stuff. Because I, I, um, I, while I don't think he was in the series, if he did have it, he didn't use it much. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, I don't remember it at all. I will say, this figure, despite the fact that it has very little posability, it's just, like, shoulders... Uh, oh, his ha head doesn't even move. That is four points of articulation there. Um, despite that, he's a hefty figure. Like, the sculpting and stuff is really good, because he looks really fucking buff. That's what I liked about the in-space figures, because I believe... I, I think I had the Silver Ranger. I think he was a bit more buff than that. Yeah. And a bit bigger, but... It was the same sort of articulation, and they just looked so awesome. I'm, I just, I'm just a big fan of those suits. Just um, the design. Just. We also have from Zeo. Yeah, Zeo. Uh, a, a cog. I so believe they're called cogs, anyway. They, well, they, yeah, they're they're the robot putties or whatever from Mighty Morphin. Um, this guy is a weird feature. The like, his right arm will do that. His left arm can do that. It, it does the robot. Yeah, it's so. Ironic. The robot. <laughs> he he can do the robot pretty pretty damn well, um, but it's just his right arm that does this, and I don't know. I think I bought it because I, I I quite like his design. Like that face, it's fucking weird. Uh, hang on. I think they used to have their own like fighter ship things as well. Yeah, I I vaguely remember them. I think uh, I had the toy of it in fact because it, it 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 can be on the land and it has like really long legs and stuff, but then when it's in the air, it becomes its own like jet thing and. Hmm. Right, I'm going to quickly pause. I'm going to quickly pause and I will be right back. Right, um, I am back. I've cleared a bit of the thing and I bring to you a one armed Gold Ranger on a bike. I think this is like part of a set. There's like a little runway thing. I think you could launch him off. I'm obviously missing his right arm. I don't know what. I don't know where that's gone. But I thought I'd just show you guys because yeah, this is. Accident. Yeah, a horrible, horrible bike accident. So now, let's move on to the Zords, the big uh, transforming robot things they would pilot. We'll start off with the Gold Rangers one from Zeo. I started off because his legs are missing, and, like, <laughs> I think I'm missing a few parts of this. It has been several years since I even looked at these things, so... His head pops out. That's nice. There we are. Uh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's a he's a pyramid. That's nice. I don't know. I. Oh, oh! I think I remember it now. Right. I think it's uh, I think it's Pyramidus. Pyramidus. Or Pyramidus. So Maybe it I'm is. Sure like that it is because I think it's got pyramid in the name. Someone, <laughs> someone, tell us in the comments. Um, right. Because you said pyramid, I was like, oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> Next up is the Turbo Megazord. 
which, uh, as Glyn has said, is a very easy one because it's literally there's a car there, there's a car there, there's a car that splits. Well, one splits apart, uh, one becomes a head. And also, yeah. because this is a children's toy. Your one doesn't really do it. I don't know if it's the table or if it's just your wheels. Yeah, I think the wheels are messed up. Okay, well, it's got one of those it's things one of those where. Kind of pull back and go ones. Yeah. Nope. Well, mine's just pull back. Doesn't go anywhere. All yours does is pull back, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the two Omegas old. I have no real recollection of that guy. Um, he was oh. there. So. <laughs> I don't. This is difficult. Hang on. I don't know what, like. He's from Zeo, but you're missing most of the parts. Yeah, there's no head. I've only got one arm, which is like very loose. I probably have the other part somewhere in some like box or something that I thought would be a good idea to separate them into. These also like open up. Um, I think. Hang on, was it the feet that open up or something like that? So ah, there we are. So you could put like a little figure or whatever inside. You know. That. That's nice, I guess. Again, <laughs> looking... Ah, there we are. Look, his chest opens up. It's like, it's a playset, basically, I think, is what this is, which is cool, I guess. It is static. There's no, like, articulation apart from a very floppy arm. Uh, right. Next up... Oh, we've, we've only got three left. So, we have this guy, which is a villain from... I want to say... Is he... Are you sure it's a villain? I think it's a villain. No, oh. he's got the thing on the front. Oh, okay, maybe it is a Megazord. I, th I then. think it's just one of those things. That you but hey, see, so you pop him out, and he's got arms, he's got a head, and he's got legs. Genuinely, I feel like this was a villain, but like I, I'm probably it wrong. He's got the symbol on the front. Yeah. On their side. It would be. It would be kind of weird. Um, also, I can confirm. I just checked through the magical world of Google. The pyramid thing is pyramids. Hey, there we are. See, all of you fans on the edge of your seat that were like, "Oh no, what is, what is the name of that Megazord? I will never sleep tonight." Um, he's a cool little thing because he's easy to store, I suppose. Um, right, we're down to two. This is the Zeo. Uh, it's Zeo, but I can't remember what it's called. This is one of the Zeo Megazords. Uh, like the later one. Yeah, he he looks pretty cool. Um, oh wow, his joints do not. He's old. So she... Wow. Okay. I, <laughs> I so I didn't. I haven't broken it, but there was like a definite. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> he's ancient. He's, an old, he's, he's a pensioner. Yeah. <laughs> so this I bought at like. Oh, hang on. There is a function somewhere. Ah, yeah, there we bearing are. Bearing in mind, I believe Zeo is like twenty-one years old. Yeah. So some the, of these toys are going to be quite old. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, you know, th th this is definitely this is just something I picked up for Carbuto, I think, um, because. I think I'm getting it new as a present. <laughs> because you know he's he's a Power Ranger thing, and the last one. I can't remember his name, but it's the one that Tommy had. Uh, from Zeo. Yeah. Okay. There we are. It's got a star on it. And yeah. Been the belt. So you know. Yeah, um, he again is a playset, I believe, because you can open up his chest yeah, and I stuff. Have that, yeah, um, I always, I always kept losing his arms. And his feet open up to like I don't know, store or something. I think I had a little figure with him. So yeah, so we're gonna do other parts of this because I've got a few other things, and one of the parts is the micro machines, little playset things. Oh no, it's season three all over again. Um, <laughs> you lost it all. So I will be back in a while with other stuff but this concludes our mainline Power Ranger figure uh, video so stay tuned for part two and three